So we've got these two sections. They tell us a bit more about the product and what it's going to do to help you and your cats. But I feel like it's lacking something. It's lacking a little bit of movement. Let's add some in. So I'm going to click on to uh, this image over here. I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go down to motion effects. So motion effects is how you can have things fade in or zoom in or just appear on the screen. I'm going to say the entrance animation for this is fade in from the left, like that. And I'm also going to do the same for this image here. We're going to click it, go to advanced, go to motion effects, and this time we're going to go fade in from the right. Now you do have the options here to change the speed of it as well, so it could come in really slowly, it could come in really fast as well. I actually quite like the normal, I think that works quite nicely. You can also delay it. So if I was to put in, say, 2000, when you scroll down and it appears, there will be like a two second delay before it appears. I don't want a delay. We'll leave it like that. Over here now to the wording, I'm also going to do some uh, motion effects. I'm going to go in and I'm going to say this now is a fade in up like that. And I'm going to do the same over here. So let's just go to our advanced motion effects. And we're going to go with a fade in up as well, like that. So what will happen is they will fade up and they the others will come zooming in from, well, not zoom in, they fade in from the left and right, which I think is a really, really nice effect. You could also add in some scrolling, further scrolling effects as well. So as you scroll up and down, the images actually move a little bit as well. So let me show you what I mean. In fact, let me just show you it in practice. Let's show you what we've done so far. Let's hit preview changes. OK, so here's our website and you will now see the item zoom in or fade in and fade out as we scroll down the page. You see that one come in and as we go here, that one faded in as well and that one came up and then they stay static. What if you want to have a bit of movement, bow on those two images? Let's try that. I'm going to go over to the image. OK, I'm going to go to motion effect and we currently have a fade in from the left. I'm also going to add in a scrolling effect and this scroll effect is going to be a vertical one. And what I'm going to say is that the image moves upwards and the viewpoint will be but it starts to move upwards when you get wet. So when you are about, let me make this right here. When you are about, uh, sorry, let me get this right, 30. When you have scrolled so that your image is now at the 30% mark, right of the screen. So when your image is right at the bottom, that is classed as 0%. I don't want this to kick in until we hit the 30% mark. So when your image is roughly about here, it then starts to move upwards and it will keep doing that until you get to the top of the screen. And I'm also going to do the same for this one here. So we go to motion effects, scrolling effects, we have a vertical scroll upwards and I'm going to set this to be about 30 as well. And you can actually see what it's doing now. So as I come in now, look, it's going to start to do this. OK, and I have now I'm going to change. Let me just put this back to zero. In fact, you know what? We're going to leave it as a zero and I am going to change the speed of this to be a two. Let me now just do the same to uh, this image over here. Let me go to motion effects. Sorry, I'm just changing my mind. It's, it's the beauty of doing things sometimes. I'm going to set this to be a two and I'm set the viewpoint to be zero. So I've just completely undone that, zero to 100, and it is set as two. Let's now just look at the page again. So as we scroll down, you're still gonna see the fade in, right? You still got that. And look, as you move, can you see the image is now moving, especially with the one below as well? They're all moving up, okay? And as you get to the top of the screen, it will start to move up a little bit more. This is a lovely, lovely little effect. And you could do this elsewhere as well. You could have added it here to the button as well, maybe. You know, as you're scrolling down, the button starts to move to the left or right. Or you could have added, so horizontal scroll instead, even transparency, or where you can make it fade in or fade out or fade in and out, or even rotate or blur as well. So these little effects can make your website just pop a little bit more than what you had before. Have fun with that.